Hey guys, it's Looney Loomer, 885567 from Instagram. Or from now on, I will just be saying Looney Loomer since you probably noticed I changed my YouTube name to just Looney Loomer. So, this week I have decided to call it Monster Tail Week. Now, for those of you who don't have a Monster Tail, you can easily do this with just a rainbow loom. Now, today on the Monster Tail, I will be showing you how to make, as they show in the instructions, I will be showing you how to make the single band quad fish bracelet. And I do have a bracelet that I made with the colors that they show, it's right here. So it kind of looks like a cross between a chevron and a fishtail bracelet. But I will be showing you how to make it, even though you have the instructions, I just decided to show you how to make it. So today you are going to be needing your monster tail. And for those of you who do not have a monster tail, this is what it looks like. It is just an eight pin tiny palm sized travel loom that you can get for around $7 at rainbowloom.com, which I will link down below. So you're gonna be needing that monster tail or you can just uh, use a loom and <sighs> you'll kind of figure it out how to use a loom along the way. You're also going to be needing a hook. I'm using a metal tipped hook from the Rainbow Loom web store. But the monster tail does come with a plastic hook, which you can also use that. You're going to be needing rubber bands, which I will be using the ones that came with my monster tail box. So I'm going to put that to the side so that I can kind of grab the rubber bands. And you're also going to be needing a C or S clip. I will be using a large C clip that came with the monster tail. But you can also do this with a regular sized C clip. So let's get started. I'm going to be zooming in here to my monster tail. So if you're doing this on the rainbow loom, you're gonna need your rainbow loom to be in the square set position where all the pins are aligned like this. And you're going to be needing four of those pins for this um, bracelet. So you're going to be taking your first color. For me, it's going to be black. And you're gonna place it in a, a square on the four pins you will be using. I suggest using a pin, uh, the four pins that are not blocked by a blue connector piece. So first we're gonna need to kind of make this our kind of capping band. So we're gonna need to do a couple of things to it. You're going to take this corner, take the rubber band off and kind of before you place it back, you're gonna twist your hook so it comes out kind of twisted and do the same thing to all four corners of this. So take it off, twist your hook and place it back on so that it comes out twisted and do the same thing on here, on all of the four. So that is how you do it. And when you're done, it should kind of look like this. And I forgot to mention, you want the red pin to be on your left. Now the first batch of monster tails that they made did not have a red one, but that's okay, it doesn't really matter. And then you're gonna push this band down. And you're going to take your next color. For me, it will be white. And just place it on a square. That's all you're going to do. You're not going to do any twisting or anything. And then you're going to push that down and take another color, which for me, it will be black because I'm doing a black-white pattern. Sorry if you can't see that. And just place it on. So that's basically what you're going to do for this entire bracelet. Kind of add bands. And I'm going to pick this up now. Now you're going to take your hook and take the bottom band and put it over on all four pins. This is just like making a fish tail bracelet except it has more pins to pull over. I'm just gonna turn it upside down and grab all the pins. Now you can make this bracelet with any colors. I'm just choosing to use two today, but I made this one with three colors. So I'm gonna take that off just so that I don't distract you guys. Then you're going to take another rubber band, which is your next color. For me, it will be white, and place it in a square. You can place it however you want to be in a square, and then you're going to pull your bottom band over on all pins as well. Now, this is kind of a repeating process. You kind of, you're just kind of going to do this all, until the bracelet is long enough. I will be right back when the bracelet is kind of long, but not exactly long, just to show you how it's supposed to be coming out. So I'll be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. So I finished this bracelet. 
As you can see, I just took the bracelet that I already had and kind of took it apart a bit and put it, placed it on here. So this is what it should look like. The reason for that is because while I was making my other black and white bracelet, it didn't turn out. As you can see there and at the top, the rubber band, the black rubber bands just kept snapping for some reason. It's like I had a cheaper brand for some, re for some reason, but it just kept snapping so it, it wasn't working. So I just took the bracelet that I already made a while ago on my monster tail and I'll be right back. Sorry about that. So anyway, I'm just going to show you how to finish it off. Okay, so, okay, so first of all, you should only have two pairs of rubber bands on here. So the thing that you can do is take your hook and pull the bottom layer over so that you only have one layer. So I'm just going to pull this yellow over. So you should only have one mm, band. So then you're gonna take this rubber band and pull it, it take it off the pin and uh, place it on the pin in front of it and do the same for the other rubber band. So now that the rubber bands are only on two pins. Then you're going to take the two rubber bands from one pin and place them to the pin next to it. So they should all be on one pin. Then you're going to take your large C-clip or normal C-clip or S-clip. I'm going to be using my large C-clip. I'm going to be taking it and placing it through here and clipping all those bands and popping it off and moving them all to one side. Sorry about the background noise. And kind of use my hook to grab the bottom bands and place them on my finger and then place them on the C-clip. And again, I'll be right back, I'm so sorry. Okay, I'm back now. I'm back. So this is how you make the single band quad fish bracelet. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Check out next week's tutorial where I show, I will be showing how to make the Crisscross quad fish on monster tail, but then on that video I will give you a visual of how you're supposed to set up your rainbow loom if you are using the rainbow loom So thanks again for watching. Don't forget to check out my last video Which I posted on Saturday instead of Sunday. I didn't post a video on Sunday because me and my family kind of took like a trip So I wasn't able to post any videos on Sunday, but I'm so sorry I'm trying to get back on track because I missed an entire week, then I missed Sunday. But on Saturday, I posted a haul video where I got uh, um, 32 packs of rubber bands. That has been my most viewed video so far, so thank you all so much. And I will see you tomorrow with the crisscross uh, criss bracelet. I don't remember the name anymore. Oh, God. The crisscross quad fish bracelet. Anyway. Bye, guys.